subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you a brand new feature in Microsoft Word Online. To access this feature, what you need to do is open up Microsoft Word Online, which I already have opened here. And what I've also done is um, pasted some text, some Harry Potter text from Chambers of Secrets in this um, blank document here. Now what I need to do to access Immersive Reader is first and foremost is highlight just before the first word which is October there then on the top ribbon go to view and go to Immersive Reader here. When I click on Immersive Reader it will open up Immersive Reader in Microsoft Word Online. I've already had this set up um, obviously for myself so I've already had the keywords and everything set up how I like it so for example immersive reader is really useful to help you read certain word sentences highlight keywords like nouns verbs adverbs things like that but it'll also help educators help their pupils in the classroom understand what words mean and help with their reading there so this is immersive reader opened up here on the right side top right hand corner are three options so the first one is text pre preferences if I click on that it will show you some options where you can change text so if this scroll bar here if I move it to the right it'll make my text bigger more I move it to the left it'll make it smaller let me just leave it as it was okay like that here the second option is increase or decrease spacing if I click off it you notice the writing the space between the writing or the lines will decrease if I click on it to activate it you'll notice the spacing between the lines increases the third option there is fonts at the moment the fonts I've got um, enabled is Comic Sans. If I click on the other one, you notice how the font type changes. And I'll click on the first one, you notice it will change again. I'm going to leave it so it's Comic Sans. Scroll down. I can also change the background theme. So at the moment, green selected. If I click on the blue, it will change the background to blue. So if you help, it will help the pupil see what the background is to help the contrast between the text and the background I can also change it to yellow I can even choose more colors there so it depends really what your preferences are and um, you can change it accordingly so the second option at the top are the grammar options if I click on that you can allow immersive reader to enable syllable syllables so you can see my first word is separated into the syllables October there's three syllables there two on arrived so on and so forth so you can see exactly where the syllables start end, so on and so forth on each word if I click off syllables go down to parts of speech at the moment I've got nouns highlighted so they're activated into special keywords I can change the color of my noun keywords to a different color but I'm going to leave it back to as it was there and um, what I can also do is highlight verbs adjectives adverbs and maybe show all labels and you can see there how the words change accordingly the colors on those words change and the labels at the top they are highlighted so you can see what each word is that's a noun that's a verb that's a adjective and so on and so forth let me click off these make sure just nouns is highlighted and then I go to the third option which is the reading preferences now in here I can are the reading options and here I can change my line focus so at the moment line focus is off but what I can do if I want somebody to really focus on a specific line click line focus on and it will highlight a certain line you want the class your students or yourself to highlight and focus on in a specific lesson or whatever so there we have it if I click offline option and then here is the picture dictionary at the moment picture dictionary is enabled I like to keep it enabled the reason I've kept it enabled is some particular words or keywords I can click on them and it will give you a picture of what that word means so it's a visual display of what that word is so that's staff there I had castle there um, I can even click on codes and it will give you a picture of what that word is so go back to grammar options here reading preferences I apologize I can also change the language so scroll down 
let me choose a different language here let me choose Russian and when I choose Russian I need to make sure the document is enabled so what it will do will go away it will enable all the document change the language to Russian so that's all Russian now um, as you can see in in my document so I'm going to go back and change the language back to English and it's the UK English I need there the other good thing about immersive reader is I can allow immersive reader to read back to me the text so at the bottom here is the play button click on play Madam Pomfrey the nurse was kept busy by a sudden spate of colds among the staff and students her pepper up potion worked instantly there you go you can also change the voice that's playing back to you by this voice settings option here click on that and I can change it from male to female and I also can change the speed of the voice to make it faster here or to make it really really slow by scrolling the scroll bar to the left uh, let me change the voice to female let's hear it now instantly though it left the dringer smoking at the ears for several hours afterward and there you have it that's a really quick video showing you how to use immersive reader if you like this video please like subscribe and share